When I was a child, my mother told me stories on love. My grandmother and grandfather did heroin. They would go into the bathroom, shoot their dreams into their veins, get so high that they wouldn't come down until the next day. I wonder if this is what she thought love must look like. Two people who love each other so much that they are willing to die together because don't we all fantasize about Romeo and Juliet? She lost her virginity at 12 to my dad. I wonder if this is what she thought love must feel like. Two people fighting for a place in this world with no sense of identity, deciding it was safe to push pain through each other's legs, just wondering why things went so left. My mother got pregnant at 15. She told me I was her first de definition of love because she thought I was the most beautiful thing she's ever seen since pieces of her existed in me. She thought it was unfair that God got to pick who he made perfect. My father went to jail a little bit before my first birthday. I wonder if my mother thought that this was God punishing her for finally experiencing true happiness. I had my first suicidal thought at 10 and then another at 13. My mother thought that the answer was to beat life into me because she couldn't allow God to take away her only proof of existence. By 15, she had found the journal of all the ways that I was ready to die, yet she wasn't the only one losing faith, yet she was only told to worry about better. Bad boys, my mom said. Do you know what it's like to love someone more than you love yourself? And it was in that moment that I decided that my mother's mark on this world was more important than my existence. That she be the light that enters me. So I guess it was funny that the first love poem I ever wrote, I wrote about my mother. Because she loves like no other like only a black woman could resiliently and without limits like only my mom could you see my mom be the closest thing I have to church to gospel to prayer to worship to knows what it looks like to be knocked down and still find ways to stand up so I trust in my bones because they come straight from her I know this because I tore apart her body just to build mine I often question love the same way I question my existence. The same way I question people's ability to love me because I'm willing to die face first into love without a life jacket. So I blame my mother because I hate my mother because I love my mother. Never allowed tears to run down our face but never got the chance to stop our own floods. You can't cry consistently without parting seas. You just can't tell me. My mama ain't walk on water.